The Governor Ralph Northam today putting this on the Delta variant and the increasing cases here in Virginia and the fact that there are eligible people who have not chosen to get the COVID-19 vaccine and as a result saying that he is mandating state employees to get the vaccine or get tested weekly. But unfortunately, we are now on a different trajectory. Those words from Governor Ralph Northam Thursday discussing the latest trends of COVID-19 in Virginia. The arrival of the Delta variant combined with the number of people who are not vaccinated is driving our case counts back up. And that's why he says he's issuing a mandate to state employees to either get the COVID-19 vaccine or provide weekly negative test results. I am directing this measure to keep state employees safe and to keep the people that we serve safe. Northam says the mandate takes effect September 1st and will cover roughly 120,000 state employees in agencies like the DMV, VDOT, and state universities. While on the issue of masks in schools, Northam is still leaving it up to localities to decide and did not issue a mandate requiring them, but did mention a new state law requiring in-person instruction. It also says schools will follow CDC guidelines to prevent COVID to the, quote, maximum extent practicable, end quote. Current guidelines say masks should be Worn by all. It's the law of the land, and uh, we expect uh, our school districts uh, throughout the Commonwealth of Virginia to follow the law. But the bill's author, Republican State Senator Siobhan Donovan, says it should be left to the local divisions to determine what is practical and was written to allow permissibility. Any mandate that tries to force everybody to comply with one um, particular issue is, is very difficult to implement when you're dealing with the diversity we have in our children. Now, going back to this vaccine requirement, the governor's office clarifies this does not cover K-12 staff as their local level employees or state employees in the judicial or legislative branches, such as here at the Capitol or in the court system. For those latter two, I have talked with high level people in both sides and neither had any information about a similar mandate coming. But we did just hear back from the spokesperson for Attorney General Mark Herring, who said that it is his, quote, top priority to make sure that his employees are safe and healthy and to that end the OAG or Office of Attorney General intends to implement a similar plan that fits best for its employees and quote and finally regarding any further or future restrictions if cases continue to rise Northam said as he has in the past throughout the pandemic that all options are on the table working for you at the state capitol Cameron Thompson CBS 6 News